All right, welcome back to Magic Isn't Real. Today I want to take a look at Zephyr Art of Kinesis. Now, me and this guy have a history. Oh, we have a past, which I will talk about it a little bit later, so stay tuned. For now, all you need to know is that he sent me this video that I'm about to show you, claiming that that's proof, proof of aerokinesis. As you can see, the wind is blowing in this direction. Uh, I don't do anything and it just goes there. So now the challenge is to just pull this bottle from the other direction and I'm gonna do it right now. So just look at this. You see? Just go towards me. All right, now I want you to imagine that we are in front of a judge. We are in front of a jury of our peers and we are presenting the case for aerokinesis. And he shows up with this video that I just showed you as ultimate proof of the existence of aerokinesis. And I know what you're thinking right now, but can you do it? Of course I can. I have wind today, I have a plastic bottle. If I put it down, the wind is gonna naturally send it into one direction, as you see, I can, there, there it goes, there it goes, it goes. Uh, let me go. grab it, okay, good, good, good. Um, if I do it again, you'll see how the wind just pushes it in one direction really fast. Let me grab it now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab it again, and put it down and see if I can reverse the flow of the wind with the power of my mind. Let's try. And there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, and that's it. Now, if you want to know how to do this trick, you have two options. You can reach out to me privately and I will show you and teach you how to achieve that effect, how to do that trick. Or you can watch his tutorial. Yes, he has a tutorial on aerokinesis and learn how to control the wind with the power of your mind. Now, I'm not going to play the whole tutorial because it's, it's, it's not my place and you can go watch it on his channel. I'm just going to play you one small clip with something that he said that just gets under my skin so much. Basically, the only way to perform aerokinesis is to create a bond, a friendship between you and the wind. Peter Burling is one of the best sailors in the world. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere with this. He started competing at the age of nine and in his career he has won several, several sailing competition worldwide. This guy has spent his entire life studying wind basically and he knows how the wind works better than anyone else in the world probably. You want to tell me that this guy basically wasted his entire life because you in nine months have figured out a way to be friend with the wind. Even if you're serious with this, do you understand how your arrogance is almost slightly disrespectful? You know what? Stop, 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 stop. You're here to watch me perform magic, not, not to rant. So I want to take a look at some of the other things that you're claiming you can do. Okay, in this video, it looks like you're making a straw fall, a straw that, may I say, was already kind of balancing on something. Fall to the ground with the power of your mind. Okay, shouldn't be too difficult. Let me try. Oh, wait, I did try it this morning when I was making myself coffee. All right, in this video, you're trying to demonstrate that you can move things without even looking at those things. It should be easy enough. I'm gonna try to move this object, this regular spoon, with the power of my mind, without even looking at it. I'll just turn around over here, and I will focus on my mind. Bring it in and out.
This one is kind of interesting. You seem to be claiming that the light in the room is affected by your energy. Okay, here you're moving something under a glass, okay? Um, I've done this before, here it is. Uh, no, there's no, there's no string on the table, uh, there's no, he asked me to show you the, the card, there's no, it's a regular card, there's no, there's no, there's no strings attached. Uh, someone says to circle the ball, I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm circling the ball, there's no, there's nothing attached to it. It's just a regular glass ball. We can do this if you want. I don't know. I this there's no this is just my coffee, it's morning. Uh, I'm just gonna go down there. I'm gonna try to push the card forward. It's not easy, but I'm gonna try to push it forward since that's what you guys were concerned about. And I'm gonna do it from over there. Are you ready? Let's do this. All right, in this video, you are, um, um, what are you doing in this video? Oh, you are erasing a cloud from the sky. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna repeat this trick. Um, not because I cannot do it. I'm embarrassed, I'm embarrassed to put a video of me doing that, it's just, no. Also, if this was real, you are probably the cause of why the weatherman on the news is always wrong. Is that you, is that you? Canceling clouds? Is that your fault? Also, do you even know what clouds are and how they work? Do you even know the implication of such a thing that you're doing, if it was real? Learning a little bit about science, even if you are the real deal, even if your powers are real, might not be such a bad idea, you know? Actually, it might make your powers better. Like, let me give you an example of something that you could have done to demonstrate aerokinesis. You know, if you could actually control the wind like you claim you do, all you gotta do is push the wind in a corner and you would have an object, like a light object, actually levitate, which I think is quite spectacular. Watch. There is one trick you did in your channel, which I think is really good and I really enjoy it. And it is this one. Now that I really like, and I have a few suggestions for you. First of all, you should throw the dice a couple of times before, just to show that there are no loaded dice or trick dice, you know? Just throw them a couple of times, then select your number, and then you throw and, and it lands on the number, great. Second of all, do it a couple of times with different kind of numbers. Like in the opening of this video, I did it with a set of number, now I'm gonna show it to you again with a different set of numbers. Let's go. You know, if this ability to control the outcome of dice was actually true and not a magic trick, you know what I would do with it? You know what I would do with it? Just hear me out. I would go to the casino like once a month. I would win shitload of money and then I would give it all to charity. What are you doing it for? YouTube views? Okay, sure. It's, it's your super ability, not mine. Mine is a magic trick, so unfortunately I can't use it for good, but... You claiming to be the real deal. Now, for those of you that think that I did some sort of amazing sleight of hand and replaced the regular dice with the loaded dice, I will say, well, thank you for giving me so much credit, but my sleight of hand is not that good. And that's not how I did it. Rewatch the video in slow motion, watch it frame by frame if you have to. There's no sleight of hand involved 
in this trick. You want to know how I did it? I suggest you check out Darren Brown, the system. If you, if you know, you know. All right, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I want to talk a little bit about the history between me and Zephyr because I think it's important to establish some backstories. And I think it's important to establish backstory because I want you to understand why am I posting this video today. So a couple of years ago on a different channel, I posted a video saying that I just simply don't believe that chi energy is a thing. I didn't wake up that morning just like thinking like, hey, chi must be fake. Let me post the video. I've studied chi energy and energy and martial arts for most of my life. I've traveled the world. I've met with several grand masters who claim to have special abilities and it always turned out to be either a scam, a fake or simply someone performing a magic trick. This is actually what got me into magic. Now, he discovered that video and he left a comment that I, that I know nothing. I know nothing about energy and I should or chi or telekinesis or whatever and I, therefore I should not be talking about this kind of stuff. So I asked him if he wanted to talk to me if he wanted to show me what the real power is, because apparently all I've done in my life was wrong, all he's done in his life was right. He replied that he doesn't feel confident to talk to me because he's just a beginner. He feels confident enough to put tutorials out. Anyway, it doesn't matter because he started bragging about some of the people in the telekinesis community, specifically one guy that he told me several times was one of the best telekinesis guy in the world and he told me that this guy could actually show me he could actually show me the, the, the true the truth about telekinesis and maybe even change my mind so what did i do i had a conversation with this grandmaster with this guy that he sees to be one of the best and what happened after my conversation with this guy which i'm going to put a link down below so you can check it if you want to but what happened after this conversation, which let me add that I believe it was a very rational, very calm and very respectful conversation. Now, after this chat, what Sefer did just blew my mind. He apparently did not like some of the answer that his own guy gave to me. I didn't search for any of this. Remember, he found my video. He told me I should speak to this guy. I spoke to the guy and what does he say? He tells me that that guy is full of shit and he doesn't know what he's talking about. And I'm the toxic one. This is your community. This is your people. This was the guy suggested by you. I then ask him again, so do you want to talk to me? And he goes like, no, you should talk to this other guy. This other guy is the real deal. I thought the first guy was the real deal. No, no, no. This other guy is the real deal. I started trying to study and understand the supernatural and the chi and the energy since I was like, I think 15, 14. So it's been a long time and I can tell you there is always another guy. Always. So anyway, I ask, okay, can I talk to this guy instead? Apparently not, because he doesn't want to talk to a toxic hater like me. If the real deal doesn't want to talk to me, and if you guys cannot even agree on who is the real deal, I just figure out your stuff and then come back to me because I'm done. Or I was done. Because what happened after is that he sent me a long ass message basically saying that, that I'm an idiot, you know, that if I really wanted to learn telekinesis, I would have done it by now, like he did. I'm like, the, <laughs> the arrogance of this kid, it's, it's incredible. The idea, bro, I have a friend. I have a friend who was born with no arms and no legs. And he's one of the smartest people I know. He's, he's, he's a bit older than me. He can speak like four language. He, he has learned so much. He is trying to figure out a way to deal with the fact that he doesn't have any arms and any legs. And I've seen him do incredible stuff. Don't you think that if it was so easy, like you said, it only took you nine months to control the weather. Don't you think that, not me, I could be idiot. Don't you think that he would have done it by now? that he would have learned how to move things with his mind since he needs it more than any of us. Anyway, after I call bullshit on all of your stuff, you told me that you were done with me. And by the way, this is the thing that you've been doing for a while. You told, you told me that you were done with me several times and you keep coming back. You keep coming back to me because you wanna know why I made this video? Because you tag me. After you say you were done with me, you tag me, you send me that video that you say was proof of aerokinesis. I don't want to say that all of this 
is because of you, but you are one of the reasons. You are one of the reasons why now this channel exists and why now this channel is going to be focused solely on addressing the supernatural. Anyway, this has been Magic Isn't Real. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know if you want me to take a look at something specifically. I will. See you next time. And this is a, this is like a wall. Like there's no way to...